Hey, what's up, guys? To another podcast, second numero uno. I mean, dos. dos. <laughs> dos. <laughs> um, <Me>? Today, <laughs> today, uh, we're gonna call it the the podcast. We're gonna call it different. It's gonna be a split screen podcast. So hopefully, um, the way it should be edited, it should have two screens put together. Hopefully, that works out right. Also. Before we start today, I want to uh, make sure um, when we hit 1,000 subscribers, what was that, like last week, I think, um, we decided to give out free merch. I'll probably put a link in the bio or put a link in the video, however, so you guys can go towards the PSA number two for the thousand subscribers <laughs> uh, for, for us uh, thanking you guys and uh, for you guys to for you guys helping us and supporting us and also and all the other stuff um, but yeah this is pretty much what it looks like it's gonna look like that maybe if it zooms in maybe kind of no maybe eh. maybe I'll put it in player twos eh. That it looks something like that, and it <laughs> says blue edge checkpoint, but it's not blurry. And it's a stop on wristband. See, it's magic. Woo! So you guys can get a free one, uh, either gold, silver, or crimson red. And uh, yeah, so I guess we can go ahead and start the podcast. So how was your day? <laughs> <laughs> wow, my day was good. <laughs> so far. So we just got done um, playing The Walking Dead, and as it always come out to be, audio keeps kicking my ass. So pretty much, we got done playing Walking Dead. It was a beautiful session and everything, and we we will still release. Uh, actually, The Walking Dead should be up before the podcast, since the podcast is going out Friday. And also, sorry that um, the podcast is a little late. It was because of it was a holiday, Easter Sunday, which we usually record on Sundays, and uh, we just couldn't get to it. But um, we will still uh, we will still have the podcast out every first Friday of the month. But getting back, uh, we were getting done finishing Walking Dead. Everything was beautiful until we pushed stop on Audacity and stop on recording. And then it waited to the end. And basically, what it did was it cut out. Everything we had did for that whole, pretty much the hour, except for like the last 10, 10 minutes. 15, 30 minutes. It's like, what happened? It's like, everything was fine. It's like, when we started with uh, Audacity, when we started recording, however, it was recording our, our voices, we were recording our audio and everything. But then all of a sudden, when we got to the end, all I know it was like a blank line. And then at the last 10 minutes, you see the audio yeah, file. Right. And I was like, no, it, we're going to probably use the camera audio instead. Um, but it's not going to sound as good with the Blue Yetis because the Blue Yetis are amazing. Thank you, Deontay, for the, um, the, the, the suggestion. The, yeah, because definitely wouldn't be using these. I probably have the uh, AOTs or something like that. I forget, but they're, they're another class of mics. But yeah, they're really bummed us out and so far we're hoping that the audio for the podcast don't do the same as the audio from the walking dead but let's get aside from all the negative vibes and stuff and get into some gaming uh news i guess um i heard about i actually this is the first time i actually heard about it, it was like the the ps4.5 and i think xbox one they have their own version system that they plan on coming out with. Well, you can check it out. Uh, I guess you should probably put a link in the description. Should I put a link for that? <laughs> I mean, it's, it's all speculation and rumors, so maybe not. But anyway, they plan on coming out with these consoles close to the end of the year, like around the holiday time. Mm -hmm. And basically, they're like upgrades of the PS4 and Xbox One. But uh, It seems like, like a whole nother... What was that? It's I not a whole... It's not like a, a new console. It's like a mid point because I actually did some research on it and it finds out like it turns out that when uh when they actually came out with the console they were already behind. Okay. So 
is they need to upgrade. Just like the backwards compatible and stuff like that, like they was behind. Kind of, but I mean like graphical and capabilities of the console, like they already behind the waypoint technology. Didn't the PS4 start off with 720 and the Xbox started off with 1080 when it, when they first came out with both? Oh, you I know think. what? I don't I don't remember that one. I know some of the specs were lagging behind with the PS4, but then they caught up. And, and the Xbox. And, and you search the control and they pretty much took over. And they still in the, in the dominant mood. Mm-hmm. But what you're talking about, you're talking about uh, some of the features that they were doing when yeah. they first came out. That's what they had. The CEO. He wasn't. He wasn't making good decisions. <laughs> <laughs> so let's just leave it at that. So. All right, so we have the PS4.5, the Xbox One point five, or well, whatever. whatever. I don't even the know Xbox. What the, it was supposed to be the Xbox what seven twenty, but now it's the Xbox One. So we're gonna say Xbox One point five or however. Um, they're also coming out with a um, another Dreamcast. Really? They supposed to. They well, it's supposedly coming out, or they're they're in development. Of making another Dreamcast, but I thought the Dreamcast was the uh, was the child of the Xbox or the birth of the Xbox or re- reincarnation of the Xbox. But I guess the Dreamcast and hey, we're gonna come back out with another and I don't know. That's that was actually kind of shocking. That was shocking news. What's not shocking is that Nintendo's coming out with another console and they're yeah, that's, that was expected. Yeah, I was like, dude, just. Calm down on Nintendo, all right? They shouldn't stop making consoles, <laughs> but it's like they need to pause for a minute. Like, give it about two, maybe three years at least. Because the Wii U came out when? 2012, right? Or was it earlier? No, I don't think it was 12, because that's, we, we, that's when I graduated from uh, high school. So You know what? You're right. It was like 2014 or 20... Closer to that. Well, yeah. It was 20, 20, it was since 2016, it was 2014. So, or I might be wrong, it might be 2013. I would say give it a little bit, a little while longer, because right about now, I think the best systems for Nintendo, well, like stay home systems were the, of course, the N64. Everybody loved the N64. And I think the Wii U, no, not the Wii U, the Wii was something that, like it was a new generation because it was motion, uh, motion sensor. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So like nobody else had that. When then that's when PS PS3 started picking it up, and uh, Xbox picked up Connect, and PS3 picked up uh, what was it? The hold on, the PS3. Yeah, the PS3 had some type of uh, eye move or something. Like some system. Some. some. I don't remember. Yeah. So yeah, that, that's PS3. But um, not to hit on PS3, but to get back to the PS4. Um, the only thing I had to say about that is, uh, like, those systems, they're going to be drastically more powerful than the, uh, their previous versions, or the ones they have right now, being the PS4 and the Xbox One. Now, I don't know if it's necessarily true for the Xbox One, but I know for the PS4.5, it'll enable you to play uh, your games in 4K, because it doesn't mm. have any support for that right now. Wasn't it something where they said that, oh, um, PS4 and Xbox One will be able to play together on the same platform? That, that's weird, but... Yeah, that's in the, uh, that's up to the developers, though. Yeah, that's... If they, if they want to put that to. control and that, mm-hmm. that work in to do it there, we'll eventually see some networking from cross-platform. Hopefully. Gameplay, which is about time. Yeah, it's really about time because it's I mean, overdue if you ask me. Somebody can get their PS4, somebody have their Xbox, we all can play Call of Duty or Battlefield get or something they, like that. They PC, <laughs> <laughs> PC, they like we can just all play together. And yeah, just be happy. that would be nice. Like I, I don't want to. Like I know some of my friends are just PS, PlayStation only. Some, some of my Xbox only. Some of my PC only. I like all of them. So I mean, I don't, I don't hate on none of them because certain games I like playing. For instance, <clears throat> for a PlayStation, I like Crash, Crash Bandicoot. That's well, it's not a uh, PlayStation exclusive anymore, though. But you know, you you have exclusives like God of War and um, Uncharted. And I wanted to actually get into Uncharted, but I don't have a PlayStation. Um, but in Xbox, you have Halo, the, all the Halo series, and Gears of War. I don't really play Gears of War, but Halo series, 
It's something I like with the Xbox. PC, well, you don't have Halo. You don't have Uncharted. I don't think they're going to start doing that, though, because you talked about removing the exclusives. I don't think so you think, that, you think that, like, let's say if... Okay, I see what you're saying. I'm just so they, saying, like, if you if they make the same game multi-platform, they should right. make, they should make multi-platform servers okay. so you can play together. I don't think they are gonna stop with the exclusives. doing exclusives. Like that's always a selling point for this console to buy it. If you eliminate that, it's kind of like yeah. What's the point? I can just buy any console and I don't have to put any thought into it. True. No loyalty. No nothing. We the, the Nintendo is not gonna do that. So. They're not, they're not gonna put Mario on PlayStation. <laughs> 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 that that would be weird. I actually wouldn't wouldn't get that. I don't, like, I don't I don't know how that would turn out. Playing playing Call playing of Duty, Duty on a Nintendo DS XL two or something like that. That that would be really weird. That'd be weird. It's almost as weird as playing uh, Call of Duty on Wii. Is that do they have that for the Wii? Really? Yep. You know what? Some people some people like it. But I don't know. It looked weird to me. I haven't tried it. So you pretty much you you play with the the Wii, the Wii remote, remote and a nunchuck, and he's like, yeah, nah, 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 nah. And then, hmm. I don't know if you're doing all that. Like you can use it like a regular controller too. I don't want that. If I if I'm playing with the Wii, I want to get in. I want to get into it, like emotionally into it. Like I want to duck that. That's why VR comes into play, and that's why the HTC Vive. I can't wait. We gotta get it, cause um, uh, cause they actually have um. Uh, certain games where it's to I forget the names of them I've seen them but there are some VR games where it's to you have sword fighting which is awesome you have uh, these gun fights which are awesome I, I wish I remember the names though um, there's a game where it's to you're like you're this guy and you have ropes in both your hands and basically you just like like, it's like if you're a Spider-Man and you're basically like swinging from tree to tree to wall to wall. It's it's pretty amazing, but at that it could be scary because when you're looking down and you're falling, it's like, yeah, might be a little too much. Yeah, but uh, that's a good one though. HTC Vive definitely should get. But if you got eight hundred dollars to spend, it's all yours. But if you don't, you're just gonna have to know, sit right? there. You might have free. better luck. Getting the thing that PlayStation came out with, or they coming out with later this year, which is like five hundred dollars. What is that? I, I did hear, hear about that though. Uh, I don't remember what that one is called. It's a VR though, for PlayStation. Just it's like Xbox is coming out with. with yeah, it's their own version of virtual reality. The only thing about Xbox is that they said it's not supposed to be just oh uh, VR and games. It's supposed to be VR and entertainment, pretty much. So, like let's say if you were going shopping, and um. You know, you just you seen this couch, and you're like, "Oh, I like this couch. I wonder how it look in my house." And then you just get the couch, and you're like, "Oh, dude, it's like kind of Minecraft build." And you put the couch there, and you're like, "Oh, I like it." And I don't know. It's it's actually it looks good. That you know, I probably would end up getting something like that just to like play with it. And also until, until you see that price tag. Until you see that price tag. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, they got actually some games, just like how my, actually Minecraft is actually one of the, the biggest ones that um, I know they showed at E3 um, when they had the VR for Microsoft. I remember that. And you can actually scroll. You can be like, it's like you're a god, and you're just scrolling and, and looking at the world and stuff, just to mm -hmm. place things and all this other stuff. It's actually, it's it's good. I mean, I can't really describe it any other way. It's just mm -hmm. I'm not exactly. What you're <laughs> um. We have that, and also, oh, that reminds me, uh, there's a, you, you know Ratchet and Clank, right? Yeah, everybody knows Ratchet and Clank. If you don't know who Ratchet and Clank is, please cut off this video, go buy your PS1 or PS2, get Ratchet and or Clank PS4. Deadlock. Or, do or they PS3. have, do they have, back, yeah, they have backwards compatible now. No, they no? don't, but they have, they try to like assimilate it in, but it's not a complete backwards compatible. It's PS4 to PS3, right? I thought I thought they had backwards. Yeah, it's like PlayStation so now, but it's not like you can't take a, a PlayStation Three disc and just insert it. <laughs> like take it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you can't do that. Like you gotta buy this uh, this thing. Okay. Oh, you have to buy an adapter in order to. Not an adapter. Like I I was looking at something. It's actually in the magazine. I can bring that up. Yeah, you are. Uh, I'll bring it up a little later. Okay, but uh, 
they have, uh, like Dante was telling me about it, he said, uh, you get this service PlayStation now, you like, you rent the game that you want to, mm-hmm. you know, play or whatever, and then you have to, like, give it back to them, which is so kind of stupid. <laughs> so it's like Gamefly, <laughs> in, in a sense, or a red box. You, you, kind of. You, you, you pay, wait, so you pay for it, you rent it, and then you, how long do you keep it? That I don't know. So yeah, it might a, even be a limited time frame on it. I have never tried it. So it's a red box blockbuster, and thing. it's kind of worse because it don't have like every single game in it. It's only got like a few. I mean, it's got a lot, but it's when I was looking through it, it's nothing like I really wanted to. Yeah, get into that I haven't already gotten into on Xbox. So none of the old classic PS4, PS PlayStation games, like. Like Crash or something? So, something like Crash, Spiral, Ratchet. Oh, Crash. that's that would be a different scenario, but no. oh wait, this one, that is this one is just this, this one is just one. PlayStation Three. Three, right, 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 right. So maybe Uncharted. No, uh, I know Assassin's Creed is on there. Oh yeah, sure. Assassin's Creed was a PS. That that is originally in PS Three. It's originally in that area. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> speaking of which. So the the Ratchet and Clank, you know they're coming out with another game, right? Yeah. And you know they're coming out with a movie, right? On the same exact day, April twelfth. Really? Is this month or next year? No, it's this month. Really? Yes. So in a couple of weeks, because this is what April third. The third or the second. So. The third. I'm, I'm actually really pumped to see that movie because. Like I was, um, I was on YouTube, and there was there was an ad for Ratchet and Clank, and I'm like, I was gonna skip it because I knew it was the game, but I was like, huh, I really want to see what it, what it was, and I was like, it looked, it looked real, not realistic, but it, it looked like it was a movie and it was going into a game at the same time. And I was like, what is this? Like it looks so good, but then it's like I can tell when you're playing the game or whatever. So then it, at the end of the the ad, it was like, oh, game released, I think it said April 12th, and then also movie released April 12th. And I was like, wow, okay, so can I pick up my game at the movie theater? I know, right? <laughs> can I pre-order it and pick it up after I watched the movie or before? But the only thing about it is PS, I think it's, it, it's still exclusive to PlayStation. Which sucks because I really want to play Ratchet and Clank. They, that's like the only classic game out of Ratchet and Clank, Spyro. That's the only one they really like survive to this day, dude. It says like Cooper was supposed to come out with a movie or something, sometime soon. But still, it's out of all of those classic games, it's like that's the only one that's still surviving. And uh, that was that was that was good. That was good. But um. <laughs> I know that uh, a group of people are actually working on Crash, but the thing about it is that they got to get the license, the license from. Yeah, it's probably gonna be shut down like the, uh, <laughs> like some of the other ones. I mean, it is like Resident Evil that one got shut down. I think was it somebody doing uh, Metal Gear Two? This was more recent. No, I haven't heard of it. I think that one got shut down. That's another thing we can talk about. By Konami or by? Uh, I don't know. No, since Konami, they tripping too. Man, it just, I, don't know, I, just I don't think they some haters. They, they hating are. on. They hating on uh, Kojima. Kojima. I said Kijimoto earlier today. I was, I was like, I know, I know, it's not the right name. Kojima. There you go. Kojima. This next second paragraph on the top left with the dude with the picture. VR is the future of crime? Huh? VR is the future of crime? Uh-uh. It's on page 60. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you want to write page now at the top left. Oh, top left. Credit where it, it is in due? Yeah, it's the second paragraph. Last year, Konami made headlines by rightfully asserting its ownership. What? Yeah, Konami. Konami. What? Really, they have really lost it. What? Really? Okay. Last year, Konami made headlines by rightfully asserting its ownership over the Metal Gear, S- Gear series, series yeah. the development of which it has been funding for nearly 30, 30 years. years by removing... Time. 
Kojima's name from the yeah I remember that they they removed his, removed name, his name from um the Metal Gear series that's crazy and then uh I'll add another because you know what the hell's happened right no With that I think uh I don't like you some of y'all might already know this but uh when uh they went to get their rewards oh yeah him. yeah you probably already know mm -hmm. about this they actually uh Konami actually hired a lawsuit lawyer to prevent him from coming up on the stage and getting his rewards that time Oh, I didn't know about the lawsuit lawyer. No, I, I knew that they prevented him from... Yeah, they prevented him. They actually hired... Not a lawyer. What What's the word I'm looking for? Bodyguard? I don't know. <laughs> not a bodyguard. It was it was a lawyer. I'm sorry. It's, it, they actually did hire a lawyer to make sure he wouldn't come crazy. and get his rewards or whatever. That's not it. A lawsuit. Something like that. Basically, they prevented him from... It didn't take you morons long to complain about erasing yeah, that dude is, the creator. Is, is crazy. <laughs> Regardless that dude of the that. fact, yeah, the, his name is Darth Clark, editor in chief. Um, I totally disagree with that. It didn't take you morons long to complain about erasing the creator. Regardless of the fact that Kojima's name appears after each mission and that he actually appears as a character in the game. Yep. Metal Gear Solid 5 was basically the most expensive and labor intensive selfie of all time. Yet you cry foul about a few letters removed from a box. The experience of playing games is what's important, right. not the people who make it make them. And that's kind of that's kind of messed up. Like, it is because people don't care it's about. Like, I mean, I mean, at the end of the day, most of the people do care about the mm -hmm. game. But if it wasn't for those few people that make those sacrifices, you wouldn't have that experience. Exactly, and that man, I'm still kind of amazed though. But what at the, at, at at his uh, his comments or yeah. just the whole thing in general? The whole yeah. well, I mean, I knew most of it, but I just didn't know some of. Yeah, if they actually. Did something so he couldn't even come up on stage, and then the other developers they was even talking about it like Konami you suck, blah blah. blah. <laughs> Konami you suck. I mean, you gotta look it up on like Twitter or something like that. Yeah, I heard it was a lot of things. Like for instance, it was like they were saying that um they had Kojima hidden in um hidden in a cave or something. They he was supposed to, or I guess they put him on, on vacation or something like that, but it really wasn't. It's like why do this? I don't know. Konami lost it. Well, and it, I think they got a new CEO. He don't sound like somebody who's gonna lead that company. It's gonna get them out. Of they jam. Put so, them in the right direction. He don't. He don't sound too good. You don't sound anything. like a good seat. Nope. So they can only go downhill from here. So pretty much, Kojima um, has his own production company, his own yep. development company. I think he's gonna go a long, long way, way. Aduzu. So he said. I think he said. Um, there's no. Um, there's no strings or nothing that's attached to him. Whereas to he can he can actually let himself go and actually be or develop games that he uh -huh. wants. Right on his own. Uh, I wanted to talk to you about Until Dawn. What about Until Dawn? That game is crazy. Oh, we all have not played it. You should definitely check. That's it out. a long time ago. It is, but I just checked it out recently. Really? Yep. How long ago? It's not even been, what as close to a week. Jesus I Christ! Back, yeah, Monday. <laughs> you late? Yeah, I'm pretty late. But. It's it, it, you know, and it's fun because it's like it's like me watching um Death Note. But and that's not even why I, I brought it up. I just wanted to uh, make a suggestion, like for the channel. Like Muhammad was already struggling with The Walking Dead. So if you guys want to see Muhammad, Muhammad play uh, Until, Until Dawn, Dawn, leave a like or a comment Muhammad. at the uh, at the bottom of. Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> leave a comment. Leave a comment in the comment section, section below. below. But uh, or. Give us a like, a thumbs up. A thumbs up or whatever. But, and by the way, Muhammad was the dude in the last uh, Walking Dead. Podcast. Yeah, episode was, one. Right, he was the one that was making them terrible choices. And he was the one that died three times. Who dies from three, Walking Dead? I know, right? <laughs> I'm sorry, Muhammad. <laughs> but yes, if you want to see uh, Muhammad play Until Dawn, yeah, leave us a like or give us a comment. 
That I think that would be really, really interesting. And he was he was struggling just playing The Walking Dead, so I I really I really can't imagine him playing until dawn. So wait, did you play or you watched it? I played it. Did you? Uh, how many people survive? Six. How many people is it? Is this eight? Oh, who who did? Okay, so Josh. Di- he died. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> and, hi Josh. <laughs> hi Josh. <laughs> um, and who else did you kill off? Uh, Josh. I, I just messed up with Josh. I didn't find like the clue or something. Uh-huh. First right. And Matt. Matt is actually the hardest dude to keep alive. Matt. In that game. Yes. He's the hardest. He's the trickiest. I don't know if I would say the hardest, but uh, if I remember. Wait, Matt was the the white yeah. guy, right? No, he was the only black guy in that group. Avery, shame on this oh. man. <laughs> oh, the only dude. I would have thought what's the name would have been uh, the hardest. Um, I can't remember the names. Uh, um, you got Matt, Josh, Sam, Mike, Sam, Mike, Jessica, Jessica. I thought she would have probably. You gotta be, because I know it was at a part where she, they realized that Jessica was still alive. And you had a choice to either hide or run. And if you chose to run, run. in the condition that, we, that she, she was, was in, in you would have died. died. But I think that was the hardest. Well, no, common sense, I guess. No, nah, Jessica wasn't really the hardest one to keep alive on. So Matt was the hard- I say You know Matt. what? You know what? I will agree with that. I will because it's like, that. if you make one choice, you Wrong. Screw. Yeah. One choice wrong, that would be one it. One wrong choice will get you killed. And got me killed the first time around. Like, so how many times did you play it? I just, uh, I didn't completely play it twice. I just went back and fixed some of my stuff. So <laughs> you so just I, went back. It's like, no, you gotta play so it through. It. So I could uh, survive with Matt, cause Matt was the only dude who really died, and Josh. But Josh died, cause I didn't get like that last clue or something. I mean, all of them died at some some point. We were really towards the end. The only Sam and um, Mike. Mike they only die at the end, at the end yeah. but everybody else kind of die can die through the story, which was a good story. It was like a cliche, but it was like it was not a cliche. It was it was really good. And I have something to share about that, <laughs> which is <laughs> I played that game. Yeah, when you play it, you gotta go all the way. You gotta play it in the dark. And really? Everything, yes. Okay, we will we, completely catch you off guard. But the other, the, other, the only thing I would say was it did make me jump one time. Was it with the Wendigo? Jump scare? No. Really? It was at the beginning of the game, if you believe it or not. I'm trying to remember the, the scares at the beginning of the game. I don't remember. It was not at the beginning, beginning, but it was like the whole things went down like before you saw anything. Was it the the? But it was after everybody was like at the lodge. Okay. I, yeah, I don't. It was a. Uh, it was like when uh, Sam, I got out the tub or something. Oh, with that raccoon, the raccoon. Oh, that. Yes. <laughs> that thing, the bear, raccoon, whatever that was, the thing really got me. I was not, I was not expecting that. <laughs> the Wendigos didn't scare him. Josh Dunn or being a the the serial killer or psychopath or whatever. Didn't scare I mean, him. I'm not gonna say it. I wasn't like tense or whatever, mm-hmm. but that's the only thing that, that actually really... made me jump like that. <laughs> Everything else, like, it did have my heart going, but yeah. nothing actually was like, like that Like that first one. <laughs> I jumped so hard, I was like, shit. <laughs> that's, <laughs> Got me. that's crazy. Yep. Wendigos didn't get me. People dying didn't get me. Nothing got me. Yeah, the, the, the deaths wasn't, like, really, they were gory, but it Except wasn't when that I bad. saw Emily's death, I was like, Damn, fucked up. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, Muhammad, you you might be doing this too. <laughs> yeah. Um. Oh, by the way, since April first just passed, did you get pranked by any chance? Nope. Okay. So I was at Walgreens, right? And um, if you guys don't know that everybody kind of has. I guess a job, I I guess. So YouTube is kind of like a secondary thing. And, um, I work at, uh, yeah, this, that store, the Walgreens store. And so, 
I was checking out a not like that. I was the clerk. All right, so don't take it the wrong way. <laughs> so I was um, scanning people out or however, and this guy came up to me, and for some reason, I knew I heard, I knew I heard a fart sound, but I was like, maybe it was just my imagination. Maybe I'm just hearing stuff, but I'm constantly hearing it. And I'm like, what's going on? And it's this guy. He's sitting here. I'm ringing him out and everything. And he's like, it's all here. And I'm like, dude, he did it. Like, literally, he did it for three to five minutes. And I'm like, we were having a conversation casual. But it was like, man, what's going on with your system? Now, the funny thing about it is I didn't smell it. So I'm like, I was trying to, I was, I was, it was weird. It was like I was trying to get a whiff of it, but I wasn't. Right. <laughs> like I was like, is he really farting for real, or is it just air coming out of his he system? He should be like, I don't even need to know this. Just get out. <laughs> right. And I was in my head. I was like, okay, dude, you 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 can't you can't be doing this because you got customers and you know you got right, employees. Scare people. Yeah, pretty much. And then he asked me. He was like. Oh, you got? Do you guys got anything that control gas or anything like that? I'm like, yeah, we got gas sex in aisle 13 and blah blah blah. blah. Yeah, man, some <laughs> man, I was trying so hard to like not say something, but then I think at, when I got done like ringing him out and everything, he showed me like this button, and I'm like, okay, and he showed me this little device. And he was like, man, you were supposed to get mad or annoyed. And he kept pushing the button. It was a fart noise uh, maker. I was like, it was, when I found out that that was like a fart noise maker or whatever, it was funny then. But before then, it was like, oh, that's disgusting. You you, you can't be in this area in doing public. that. Right. I mean, it's, not, it's all right to fart in public. It's just, dude, if you know you got a gas problem, send somebody else out to get your, your supplies or however. But... Don't be like cutting wind really loud and not really caring. I don't know. It was crazy that day, but that was the April Fool's joke uh, uh, for my first April first, twenty sixteen of April Fools. Yeah. <sighs> Until dawn, Muhammad. I know he should definitely check that out. <laughs> like I think it would get him at a lot of points. Yeah. And I'll be interested to see how many people he keep alive. None. I doubt he would keep anybody alive. To be honest, cause it's like it's a, it's not that bad. Well, yeah, when you get when you get to the end. When you get to the end, yeah. The quick time yeah. events will get you killed. And then you got to hold the controller still and everything. I yeah. had to put it down because I think I had got Sam, <laughs> Sam killed. Yes, you get Sam killed. And it's like out of everybody, I would I I wanted Sam to live. Out of everybody. I wanted Ashley to live. Ashley and Sam. Most of yeah, Ashley. Yeah, Ashley too. Ashley was innocent, but Sam Sam didn't really do anything. So she, I, I didn't think she deserved to die, to be honest. Well, I didn't think none of them deserved to die, but still. It was... Still, yeah. <laughs> it was pretty crazy. It and was The music crazy. was so tense. But man, like I say, y'all probably didn't play it. I'm just late. Maybe that's just me. Yeah, you're <laughs> It was like, it was maybe about a year, year ago? A year ago, yeah, it came out in August. August? Well, not, like you're not that late. I was just like, let me just check it out. <laughs> I you and Dante talking about it a lot. Yeah, me, Dante, and Josh. Well, I don't oh, know Josh about Dante. Tried? Josh, no, me and Josh, we watched it. And oh, really? Yeah. You gotta play it, though. It's so I don't wanna play that. I don't it's, do scary games. It's so much different when you play it. I don't do scary games. I was reading some of the reviews on that game, too. Mm -hmm. It was like, one of the dudes was like, make sure you have the light on. <laughs> and, you have, and, you have, and you have multiple people, people in the room. Because you would think a Wendigo is about to pop right behind you. Yep, I, I did. Even though I was watching it, I still, I just had a feeling that something was behind me or Wendigo was like, right, like, right at the end of the hallway. Man, if it's behind you, all you gotta do is stay still. That's true. You stand still, it'll just sniff you and then walk away. <laughs> uh, Sam did it. She did, she had to do it for the longest. And she had the most intense uh, Wendigo, like, stare down.
She did all in her face and shit. <laughs> I just wanted to give a shout out to Avery. Avery, take it. See, Geico is Harold's and Popeyes is is that one other piece of chicken that says the other guy. <laughs> Let me see. <laughs> <laughs> just a point of view, you know. I'm pretty sure you guys see off of. Uh, oh, you can't. You know what? Mine's is always blurry. Screw it. Just look to <laughs> the other side of the screen. <laughs> right. Pretty much. <laughs> So before we end this off, Christian has something to say. Oh. <laughs> I'm putting you out there. Ridiculous. All right. Now, I had a suggestion for you guys. Um, I wanted to kind of throw it out there. What would you like to see us play for our next Let's Play that we post on YouTube? Mm -hmm. You could just go ahead and vote and say it in the comments below what you think. We should do it depending on the amount of votes we get. Yeah. Go ahead and do it. We'll see how it goes. That's true. Um... It can be any game up to, uh, maybe a, a campaign story game. Like, uh, for instance, um, when Mirror's Edge comes out, I'm gonna be playing that. That's, yeah, because he's that's, hyped about that I'm Mirror's Edge. I'm so hyped about me. I've been hyped s since two years before. It was supposed to come out, like, I don't know. It was actually supposed to come out, I think, two years ago, but I think they kept pushing it back. So, I'm very hyped for Mirror's Edge and also Dishonored 2. But I think I'm gonna probably have somebody else go ahead and jump into that. But I really want to do Mirror's Edge, and I haven't really got to do a playthrough myself, so I let everybody else get their fun. <laughs> but yeah, uh, let us now know. Now it's his turn. Yeah, now it's my turn. But I I'll wait until Mirror's, Mirror's Edge don't come out to the 24th or the 27th of May. So um, once it comes out, just know we will have something out. We will have a series going through that. Um, but yeah, let us know what you guys want to see us play. It could be anything from a campaign, anything from a co-op, four-player. It can be silly. It can be an indie game. It doesn't matter. We we want to um, entertain you guys and also entertain ourselves because we this laugh. That's what we like to do. Yeah, we we enjoy this. This is nice. And then we we got other things planned. Like I said in the PSA, we got games that we got to build. Still got to do some websites, uh, shirt ideas. We got a lot of stuff planned for us. Merchandise, like merchandise. Yeah, on. and no, yeah, don't forget. Get this. Get this. It's free. It's yours. You know, don't, don't. I don't think that camera can pick it up, but yeah, it's yours. You can, you can just get it over Christian's face. Watch, watch this. And it just, you can just wear it as a crown now. See, I can wear it as a crown. <laughs> But yeah, you, you can do little magic tricks. You tell your brother, hey, you want to see something? Watch this. I'm going to break it. Oh, no, I didn't. I just, it's just, yeah, that. Thank see? <laughs> but yeah, get get your free merch. Um, note that we, every milestone we hit, uh, I don't think we'll do 5,000, but when we hit 10,000 subs, we're at, I think, two 2,000 right now. 2,000. We almost said 2,200. Dude, you guys are like awesome. awesome yeah. <laughs> I mean, man, we didn't really expect to get this far this quick. Quick, man. Um, and we do love you guys, and we thank you guys for your support because as we build, we can actually put more, more content, content out to support you guys. And content out, prizes out, give to you guys because that's like I said in PSA. I haven't, I don't really see too many YouTubers give to the community even though if it's it can be something small to something being mm -hmm. really huge um did you want to say something oh uh, i just wanted to say uh kind of like like it's one youtuber i know and i kind of got to subscribe to this channel but that's uh cool bottom money four five six you're gonna have to like like write that down because i don't know <laughs> how to spell that <laughs> it's, it's as simple as it sounds but i didn't it's his name is not important What's important is just uh, he does little stuff like that in his mm -hmm. channel, like he does little giveaways, mm -hmm. prizes, stuff like that. And you'll probably you'll see us doing more of that mm -hmm. as we build up and get momentum. Just know for that those of you that, that know him, if you don't know him, you can look him up or ask around. And just note that at 10K, we do expect to do a we actually expect to do a live podcast or stream. For which I plan, I made, I just made the decisions like, we'll just I do I know, but it's not, <laughs> man, because I was actually going to ask you that. To do a stream podcast? Well, if you wanted to. No, we're, we're doing it. <laughs> we're going to do it. But at 10K, 
At 10K, we want to do a live podcast, and that's the time when we're actually going to start doing our prizes and we're going to give away. Hopefully, Muhammad, if you're looking at this, Muhammad and Jamil website, you know, hopefully have our store up and running so that way we can actually. Before we hit 10,000 so we can just make a smooth, smooth yeah. transition and not run into the problem. Now, the goal for this year is to hit 100K by the end of 2016. If we can do that, you, you, we, we, I can't, I can't even give you words right now. <laughs> Me, no He's English. Speechless. Speechless, pretty much, you though. But. <laughs> but if we can hit 100,000, we, we will be golden and we can definitely give you guys more. Because it, the, the milestone goes as 1K and it, it jumps to 10K. It gives us time to actually build, um, something up and we can actually think of what we can give to you guys. And then, um, after 10k, it'll be 50k, then maybe 100k, then 500k, then 1 million, and then we just keep going on from there. I mean, the 1 million is a lot of people, uh, that's a lot, <laughs> but uh, but like I said, that also helps uh, with the, the quality of YouTube, uh, the YouTube videos, and also we can start developing games and stuff. Whereas, two, we're working on one, uh, which is Don't Wake the Parents. Which might be revamped to something else, the title, because the title is kind of like, eh. It's kind of, a, it's a little bit on the long side. Yeah. So we still got some work to do with that, but I really, I really do it. Cross counter, we have to. That's the next game we have to work on. So many ideas. Um. Basically. I, you know, I'm not even going to explain it until the, the, the time I comes. Know, yeah. But cross counter, please, when you hear cross counter and you hear anything about an alpha being made and it's like maybe out there to the world, please check it out. But as of now, that, that might not come about until like next year. So, yeah, it's going to be a while. We got to get some stuff straight. Yeah. So, right now, I'm just kind of jumping the gun for the future, for future references. But, yeah. But yeah, so uh, I guess this will probably end the podcast, the podcast. for today. Uh, the Split Screen Podcast, not the podcast, Split Screen. And uh, I think I like that name. And I think we're going to stick with the Split Screen Podcast. Depending on how this looks, and if we get thumbs up and people saying, hey, this is different, then we'll keep it at the Split Screen Podcast. If people don't say anything, it's still going to be the Split Screen Podcast. If people don't like it, it's still going to be the Split Screen Podcast. Wow. <laughs> wow. Okay. <laughs> But um, yeah, uh, I guess we're we're golden. Sorry. Yeah, and before we uh we end this off, uh, let us know in the comments also. In addition to what I said earlier, what games are you all looking forward to this year? They could be PC games, console games. Just let us know what you think. Yeah, give us actually give us and not just only that. Also give us feedback. Give us critique. Give us criticism. You know. Let's make a let's make let's build a community for Blue Edge and have everybody talk amongst each other. We need we need good people. We need bad people. We need haters. We need uh uh good people. <laughs> good people. We just need about like, like a good rounded community. We need the good people. We need the good and the bad. Also, what I was thinking, uh, I'm sorry, we said we was gonna end this off a long time ago. Maybe. Just maybe, just maybe, and this is just maybe, okay. We might have certain games where it's to, we might, uh, it, um, have the community join. So, for instance, if we were playing, let's say if we were playing Rainbow Siege, right? And, uh, we say, hey, give us you guys' username in the, the comment section below, and we end up picking maybe five, maybe ten, 15 people and we'll give you guys specific times. I don't know. Like I said, this is all future. I'm just throwing stuff out there, but We want to make sure the community is involved with us as well. It's just not oh, It's just us and you guys are watching us. I want you guys to be involved um, and yeah, and get some more live streaming. That's what we want at the end of the day to get to a point where we can do more communicate with you guys as well mm -hmm. um, but yeah that will be it. That will be the end of the Split Screen Podcast. I hope you guys have a great day, and we will see you next time. And thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Peace. Deuces. Fours. Eights. Eights. <laughs> <laughs>